The city of Fredericton wants to tear down the nonprofit Capital Exhibit Center and build condos there. They say it could bring in even more taxes. But the people of Fredericton would lose a lot of the biggest and most successful family events that we have. And so we're fighting back. And the city has a big problem. They don't actually own the Capital Exhibit Center outright or the exhibition grounds. So they're trying to force our nonprofit center out by slowly strangling it refusing to allow us to expand or make improvements, even if the province or Ottawa offers to pay for it all. The city is hoping our buildings will just fall down so they can step in and take over. We need your help. Now's the time to contact your mayor and councillors to tell them no. Email them or click the link below to tell the big little thinkers at City Hall to stop blocking our Capital Exhibit Center's efforts for improvements that will make our community a better place to live. The Exhibition Association is a nonprofit organization. It was uh, incorporated in uh, 1922. It was founded way back in 1827, so it's older than the city itself. Uh, the Exhibition Grounds, where we are located now, uh, is the second home for the exhibition uh, since the 1800s, and it was provided by the O'Dell family in uh, uh, 1948, the grounds was gifted to the city, the exhibition organization of the time gifted the land to the city. The, the exhibition, it, it has uh, opportunities and challenges, and the challenges have increased because the city are throwing roadblocks and hurdles uh, at us as we try and improve the use of the facility, improve the aesthetics of the facility, and uh, make it better for the people of Fredericton. Uh, we've been trying to improve the, the, the look of the facility, uh, we've gone through and uh, increased the exhibition, the use of the facility. And there's perception out there that the, uh, the exhibition is run by the city, but it's not. It's run by a volunteer board, only 12 people, uh, less than 100 members belong to the association. Uh, but anybody that's watching this video, anybody in the province of New Brunswick can, be, can become a member and get involved in running the exhibition and come in with your ideas to improve it. Um, we've been trying to increase the use of the facility and in the last uh, half a dozen years, We've grown to where there's now over 50 events a year take place here on the exhibition grounds. So it's much more than just an exhibition facility. We also, we support other charities, nonprofits, and service clubs in our community that do a, a incredible value within our community. The spinoff is, is much more than just a financial. But it does come down to the financial needs of our association because we, unlike any of the other facilities that you see around the province and around the city, we're 100% self-sufficient, so we have to cover all of the costs from our lights to our, our minimal staff and producing the events. So there's no tax burden to any level of government. There's no uh, contribution to the operating funds. Uh, from time to time, we look for um, different levels of government to assist in capital projects, uh, big things to really improve the exhibition grounds, and we've tried. We've had uh, support from the federal government and the provincial government over the last half a dozen years, and each time it gets to the municipal level, the municipality has slammed the door on it and said, no, we've got another vision for the city. But yet, during that same period of time, the city has re-signed the perpetual lease because as long as we exist here and there's a fair every, within every three years, that it's a perpetual lease. It goes on for an eternity. It's ever. We're here forever. And uh, the city signed uh, every 21 years, renews that. And uh, the most recently, it was renewed. The, the, the city staff looked at it, the legal staff looked at it, and the lawyers came back and said, no, it is a perpetual lease. It's here forever. So why not make it work? Why not help the exhibition make it better, make it more beautiful? And we've gone to the city and we've asked for things like the you know, city planners on staff. You know, if you want the place to look better, to improve the, the, the any aspect of it, from the use of it to the appearance of it, come and work with us. We don't have planners. We're a volunteer organization, and we said, send us your planners. Let us work with them and see if we can't work something out together to improve the, the place for the for people that live here, because that's what it's all about. It's the people of Fredericton and the people of the province that come to our provincial exhibition. Well, how ethical is a business or a municipality that competes with a nonprofit organization like this by approaching our clients and saying, why don't you leave the, that volunteer organization that's meeting your needs downtown and come out to our building? 
Like that's, that's just wrong. We didn't vote in a, a council to run with those kind of ethics. And I think that's a, it's important. And that's what's going on. You know, when the Grant Harvey's putting in the new floor, it's for other use, of course. For other use, it competes with this. When they change their doors after only, what, three, five years, how old's the building? That's to compete with this facility. When they change their electric so they can do trade shows, it's to compete with this facility. And how do we know that? Because they've contacted our clients. So we know for a fact. It's not us assuming and saying, well, they're doing this and this, and it's actually creating a competition. They've literally contacted you know, RV World. We've had uh, next year, the Kinsman Lobster Dinner's moving here. And I get a call from the Kinsman and they say, well, we don't want to move to a different place every year. All the stuff that's going on, will you be here in a year? Well, yes, we're going to be here in a year. We're here, we have a perpetual lease and we are going to be here. We're going to be here for the Kinsman Lobster Dinner. We're glad that that's your new home. We're going to be here for the exhibition. We're going to be here for the home show. And we're going to be here for Ribfest and all the other events that we have here. We need support, you know, so the, the, the easiest thing, the first step is, is anybody that's really concerned and interested can become a member. You know, that we do, there's a membership drive going on through to the end of December, uh, but it's an annual membership. At any time you can join and become, physically become involved in it. You can sit on a committee, you can get on our board and be very, very active. Or you can be just a supporter by contacting your, your councillors. You know, it's the city councillors that ultimately have the final say. So if they're getting advice from staff to go in this direction, but you'd like to see them go in that direction, the city councilors, those are the ones that are voted, and they're the ones that are supposed to be your voice on city hall. And if you don't feel that they're voicing your, your uh, opinions and your concerns and, and what's important to you and your family, then you need to tell your councilor. You need to let them know that they're representing you and they're not representing you well if they're not supporting your interests. The louder the voice is, the more important it is. And it's just wrong that the city is not only not supporting us, but setting themselves up to compete with a volunteer organization.